Alright, so, I'm back, finally, to do a quick rundown of my tuning for my race flight rig. This is probably a pretty okay starting point if you have a similar rig to what I have. Uh, my freestyle frame is a MQC, MQC Fusion, and... Um, yeah, I really like it a lot. It's kind of similar to like an alien style frame. So if you have something along the lines of that, then this is a, probably going to be a good video for you. So the um, the firmware I'm currently running is, uh, what is it, 588. And then with the configure configurator for it, which is 586. Um, just a quick rundown. Um, Signal smoothing, I use no signal smoothing, no RC smoothing, ESC smoothing, none of that. One is as low as it gets, so that's why I have it at one. So this is really where I ended up after doing a tuning session, and I think it flies really well. Um, but let's not get into that just yet. Whenever you're tuning a quad, you really should kind of go over the filters first. So, first thing I like to do is go over these um, these D-term filters. They were originally set to 80, and what I did is I flew the quad, and prop wash handling was, was good, but I wanted to see if it could get better. So what I did is I sh shifted them all to 60, so 60 on roll, 60 on pitch, 60 on yaw. And what that did was make the prop wash handling worse. So obviously I'm going in the wrong direction, so I go the other direction up to 90, and I found it to be much better. Um, yeah, so I like to do that first, and um, just because I feel like it's the easiest to do. Um, fair warning, though, whenever you're going to extreme values from like 80 to 60, just kind of hover the quad for a second, for, well, for longer than a second, maybe like 30 seconds, and then land and make sure your motors aren't getting too hot. So whenever you're changing your filtering, always you know do a quick hover for 30 seconds to you know to to just check your motors and make sure they're not getting hot. So after doing that, I went on to the next section. I started with kind of like Preston's recommended filtering which was single frequency and low for gyro smoothing um, I really like the way it felt it was very responsive and um, yeah so I really like the way it felt except these uh, low pass cutoff frequencies were, were at 90 90 90 um, I like the way that felt too um, but just for the heck of it I, I lowered them Kind of like what I did with the D term, I just kind of lowered them to see what would happen, and I felt like it was just it was just kind of snappier. Like I felt like it was more responsive in the sticks, um, but then I felt like it was getting a little bit on the rock, like I was flying on rocks, kind of a feeling. Um, so I kind of I bumped the yaw back up from 70 to 75. So that's where I kind of ended up, um, and it felt great. If you're having like a mid throttle oscillation issues, um, you can maybe change your gyro smoothing to medium or even high. And I've seen that kind of fix some of those issues. So that's just kind of like a side note. Um, another th thing to mention about the gyro smoothing is that if you bring it from low to medium or from medium to high, the higher you go, the, the more of a smooth, dreamy feeling flight characteristic you're going to get. Um, so I do agree with Preston on that. Uh, what I would do is put, um, I would have profile one at, with all my settings and then copy that to profile two. And then on profile two, I would change the gyro smoothing to medium. And then whenever I go out to tune, I'll just flick the switch to go to profile two. And then now everything's the same except for gyro smoothing. And um, and that's what I noticed was the difference. It kind of felt a little bit smoother. Um, so just a thought. Also, if you want to get a little bit more cinematic, um, you could bump that up to medium or high, and you're going to feel kind of a more 
smooth and elegant flight characteristic. Before we get to PIDs, I want to show you all my TPA. I have a really old PID tuning video that has tons of views and it's kind of outdated. Um, but one of the things I did keep from that video is not having Smart Curve on. I just don't like the way Smart Curve reacts, so I just keep it off and go with the curves that I have set. Also, another side note is uh, whenever you're tuning, or whenever I'm tuning, I like to keep the TPA um, pretty close to the 100% mark. If you're having mid-throttle oscillations, also another thing you can do is kind of lower your your P setting TPA right around the mid-throttle area. So around, I don't know, 3, 4, 5, and 6, kind of maybe lower those a little bit and see if that helps. Um, you will notice that when you load the TPA, it's going to have a little bit of a softer feel in that mid-throttle range because you're lowering the P value when you get there. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, next thing, uh, these are my PIDs once again. I really like these PIDs for what they're worth. They do have kind of a little bit of a snappy feeling, but not so much to where you get bounce back. I probably could try to get away with bumping them up a smidge more, but then I would have to be a little bit more careful with how I maneuver the sticks so my recommendation to you guys is maybe start off you know with your P's at maybe like 42 40 and 45 kind of a little bit lower and then a little bit lower for the I's and the D's and then kind of bring them up like one by one just a little bit and see how that reacts for you um, uh, yeah so that's pretty much um, my setup. Also, one last thing I do is if you go to the console um, and you type in dump and then press enter, you will see that the idle percent I have lowered. It originally is at 5 and I changed it to 4, so my idle percent is just a little bit lower than, uh, than stock. So just keep that in mind as well. Um, yeah, so I don't think there's anything else I really need to go over. Um, if you need to know my rates, I think they're the same as my previous video. And uh, yeah, so I think these rates feel great. They're not too fast. And then in the center stick, they're kind of smooth. And um, yeah, so I think that's it. I hope you all enjoy. And uh, sorry it's taken me so long to kind of go over this, um, but there's, a, there's been a lot of changes with with uh, race flight turning into flight one and firmwares and stuff like that. So hopefully this will get you guys going with a nice and smooth, um, smooth quad. So see you.